Hello, friends. This is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. There are many in the home gym community that have come, and I would say actually most of them, have come from commercial gyms. And oftentimes when you're coming from a commercial gym, you're trying to create that experience, at least the parts that you like about the commercial gym, in your own home. And today the products we're reviewing and comparing are kind of trying to mimic a piece that you see in many commercial gyms. The piece I'm talking about is the standard fixed weight barbell, but today we're gonna show you basically two options that take this idea, but make it adjustable. This is the MX100 from MX Select, as well as the MX80, and the Bowflex Select Tech 2080 barbell with curl bar. Let's get into the review. Now, like most of our reviews, the company sent these for free so we could review them and give our take. As you'll see, especially if you stay to the conclusion, this is gonna be an honest take like all of our reviews. So them sending us for free just allows us to review it, but it's still gonna be honest. In addition to that, if you want any of these, check the links below the like button because those are affiliate links that support us. If you wanna purchase any of them, go through those links because the companies will pay us commission. It doesn't increase how much you pay, but it does support us in creating excellent content. Okay, so a piece of equipment that you find in most home gyms is adjustable dumbbells. The reason being, it's the same reason these are nice, is you can have a large set of weights in a very compact form and at a price point that most people can afford. Taking that idea, companies recognize people that are used to the commercial gym experience are used to having standard barbells. And so the barbells I'm talking about are the short, like five foot barbells. They're not Olympic barbells. They basically have dumbbell heads on the end. They have a straight bar or a curl bar in the middle. And it's just a fixed weight, typically going from anywhere from like say 10 to 20 pounds, all the way up to 120 pounds. Oftentimes, if you're in a really good gym, it may go up to 150 pounds, but that's basically the limited use. And the reason people like those is because there's no adjustment needed. You basically just go up, grab it, the weight's set, there's nothing clanking around, and you're able to use it. Oftentimes they're used for like body pump classes or just people that are trying to get a pump. So they're using it for bodybuilding exercises. And it's just really nice because it's just quick and easy to use. The problem is people that like those, they'd still like to use them oftentimes in their home gym, but they take up too much space. If you've seen them, they're often times on like a triangle tower, a pyramid of sort, and they take up a lot of space and they're a lot of money. So, Companies recognize there's some people that don't want Olympic barbells. Here's my stance. Olympic barbells are better than these options. For most people, I'd recommend an Olympic barbell. But if you're somebody that doesn't have the space or doesn't want to deal with putting weights on or don't plan on lifting that much weight, but would like the ease of use and the quiet nature of something that's adjustable like this, but still want to not take up a ton of space, then this is kind of an option. And I think it's pretty interesting. So we've reviewed this one in depth in the past. This is the Bowflex Select Tech 2080 barbell. They call it the 2080 because just like their dumbbells, the 552 or the 1080s, that's the range of weight. So they go from 20 pounds all the way up to 80 pounds. And they go in 10 pound increments. And if you come in, I'll show you how they work. So on each side, you have a different dial, which is similar to the Select Tech dumbbells that most people are used to. Select Tech dumbbells have the adjustment on the end. These ones are, the, are on the inside sleeve. So the way this works is if I wanna lower the weight, I spin it this way. If I wanna increase the weight, thanks to this nice little plus sign letting me know what's there, I twist it that way. It's a very satisfying twist, like the twist on this and the noise, it's just nice. It does sound a little bit plasticky, but it allows you to go quickly all the way from 20 pounds to 80 pounds. And that's just the standard set. They actually make another set or an addition pack that allows it to go up to 120 pounds for an extra 200 bucks. But really the nice part of this is you can quickly and easily change between weights without having to use with fixed weight plates. So many of you have used Olympic barbells. I would say most of you, and this is what Olympic barbell does. If I wanna add 10 pounds, I take this off, I put it on. The nice thing about this is you have a much higher load capacity. So that's the real benefit is you can load a lot more and you can load in more specific increments you are only allowed to load what is allowed on the adjustable barbell, similar to dumbbells. But the benefit, similar from adjustable dumbbells to loadable dumbbells, is it's all right there and all very quick. So I don't have to take it off, move it around, you know, all that sort of thing. So this is really designed for people that want 
convenience. And this one in particular is quite interesting from Bowflex because it comes with both a straight bar and a curl bar. So if you want to go from doing overhead press, rows, curls, I mean, I would say you could do squats and deadlifts with this. The problem is you don't have a rack for it. Um, and really the weight isn't heavy enough to get a really effective full body type of training for most people. I know there are people that are gonna be out there that are like, oh, I can only lift that much, that's fine. But the majority of population, if you've been strength training for long enough, you're gonna be able to lift more than 80 pounds in a squat or deadlift, at least I'd hope so. But this isn't really designed for that kind of use. It's designed more for HIIT style training or for bodybuilding style training. So if you're into bodybuilding, this allows you to go from a straight bar, you take it down all the way to the lower weight, take this off, this starts at 20 pounds. So this in itself is 20 pounds, as is the curl bar. So if you wanna use this by itself, you're still starting at 20 pounds. You can then switch it out for the curl bar. And suddenly you have a bar that you can use very similar to a normal easy curl bar. And that's where the benefit comes in, I think, is using it for bodybuilding purposes. You wanna adjust the weight, you quickly come over here and adjust like this. Now for a long time, there wasn't a lot of options of the style. I would actually say the one I'm gonna show here in a moment was before this one. This one is somewhat new and I actually really like it. I'll tell you what I think about between these and some other options that are out there after this. But this one over here is from a company called MX Select. MX Select, very similar to Bowflex, also makes dumbbells. And pretty much all this company makes is dumbbells, this barbell, another option of barbell and a bench. They don't have a ton of options. They're very specialized because they're specializing with this type of system. So the way this works is they're using this right here all throughout all their dumbbells and barbells. So this is the same head that you find and the same mechanism that you find on their dumbbells and barbells. Now we've reviewed in depth most of the stuff that they make. There is some positives, there are some negatives, but really this was the, I would say, the first Nuobel design. So this was the design that used the rod with a spinning dial that pushed out, connected into additional weight plates that we now see in a Nuobel and is very popular, which by the way, I would love to see, <laughs> now I'm thinking about this, I would love to see a Nuobel adjustable barbell. That would be sick. Nuobel, if you're watching, you should make one of those. That would be sick. I'd love to review one of those. Let me know in the comments if you think it's a good idea. But this one is using that same rod style. And so this is how it works. This is the dial. This is the same head that's on here. The reason it's nice for them is because they don't have to manufacture a ton of new components. They use the same one with different handle lengths. So this one is just a rubber handle. They have one with knurled handles. This one is a bar in between. That's a straight bar. And this one's a curl bar. And the way that this works, and it's honestly a really good mechanism and it's using all metal gears is when you spin the dial, it shoots out the rod and then you lock it in. When you wanna adjust it again, you press the button and then you can reel it back in. And by going out, by spinning each increment, basically adding different plates to each end that range from like four pounds to maybe a little bit less on some of the lighter, on some of the lighter bars. So for each one I go to, that's where it is. But this mechanism, I will say, is probably the most durable out there amongst this style. So this is a more durable design, I think so, than Bowflex, because Bowflex is using more nylon gears and things of that sort than this company that's using all metal. In addition to that, they also have rebuild kits for this. Like I've never heard of anybody rebuilding a Bowflex. Like I know there's some companies out there that make aftermarket parts for these, but the company themselves sell a cheap rebuild kit. If for whatever reason, any of this stuff breaks, you can rebuild it, which is pretty cool. This has a similar amount of adjustments as the Bowflex Select Tech barbell. So this one actually, this is the 100 pound version. That's the 80 pound version. That one you can upgrade, which I think is a big benefit to that one if you wanna upgrade over time. This one, whatever you buy, that's what it is. You can't add additional plates. This one goes from 28 pounds all the way up to 100 pounds in 11 different increments. Now, something that's interesting between these two, because one thing you're gonna be looking at is should I get the MX80 or the MX100? That's the difference between these. This one goes up to 100, this one goes up to 80. The thing I found though that's kind of interesting on this is because these plates are thinner, I believe, this one actually has more increments. So this one doesn't have as high of a top weight. It only goes up to 80 pounds, but it goes up to 80 pounds in 13 different increments. So there's 13 different plates that are on here. 
which is more increments than here, which means you have a more refinement. So this one actually starts similar to the Bowflex 2080 Select Tech at 20 pounds and then goes up, up to 80 pounds. So it's like 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, all the way up to 80 pounds, where this one is skipping some and goes really more in like kilogram increments from 28 to 36 to 44 to 52. So in my opinion, if you were gonna get one, I would probably go with the MX80 or the Bowflex. The MX100, like, I just don't like the, the increments and I don't know why they have fewer increment adjustments. But I will say, between these two bars, the knurling on the MX version is superior. And I mean on this one specifically. This is an older version of the MX system. It uses a worse knurling. They've improved the knurling. It's a much better knurling and bar. This one is like, they just decided to throw on knurling so they could say they have knurling. This is like actual knurling and feels good and is better knurling in my opinion than the Bowflex. But it's not that big of a difference. But to show you how this one works, I click this pin, I then adjust it to what, the weight I want. So I'll go 36 pounds, pop it down. Same with this one, you have to do them incrementally. Whereas if you think of say Nubel, you adjust the handle, it adjusts both sides. You have to do it on both sides, similar to Bowflex. So I go to 36, lock it in, and then I can pull this out and do whatever workouts I want to with it. And then when I'm done, I place it back in. Now here's kind of the pros for both of these. One is they don't take up a lot of space. It's adjustable just like pretty much any adjustable dumbbell that's out there. So the same benefits you'd have from that style of system where it's a compact form, not taking up a lot of floor space, has a lot of adjustments. So rather than having all those fixed, you have them all in one space and is pretty quick to adjust and is not at a price nearly as expensive as what you'd pay, especially when you factor in shipping for the fixed commercial style barbells. Those in my opinion, just don't really make sense for most home gyms. I'm sure there's home gyms out there, like they use them a lot, but for most home gym owners, like it's just gonna take up too much space and cost too much when you can just use a barbell or you could have an option that's adjustable. But I like adjustable options for most home gym owners and most home gym owners do as well. The other pro is being able to adjust between the curl bar and the straight bar really quickly. So just like the Bowflex, if I wanna adjust between them, I just drop it to the lowest weight amount lock it in, pull it out, and then quickly add the curl bar. And I'm ready to go to what, whatever weight I want. So it's very quick. The other thing, and I kind of mentioned this already, and I, don't, I can't stress it enough, is it just takes up so little space. So that's one of the real benefits. But here's kind of the cons to both of these in general, and then I'll tell you which one I think is the best. The cons, number one, can be kind of annoying to place them back in. So you may have noticed when I've been doing this, it takes a little bit of skill to place the bar back in the rack. So if you're at the end of your workout and you're like just tired, you're just you know, all pumped out and you can't place it perfectly, you're gonna have to like figure out how to jam it in a little bit. And over time, I found it gets a little bit looser, so it gets a little bit easier at times, but it can also get a little bit harder because there'll be more space between plates. So the placing it back in can be a little bit of con. Same thing for the Bowflex. You may have watched me earlier when I did this. When I adjust the weights and I place it back in, like you gotta line it up. Cause right now, like if I go to adjust it, it's not lined up. This one's not perfectly in. So you sometimes have to come over and place them in. That adjustment system is just a little bit of an annoyance. And here's the other one. These weight increments only go so high. So you can't really replace fully an Olympic barbell set. This is more of a supplement. This one goes up to 80 pounds. If you want an additional amount of weight, you gotta pay an extra 200 bucks. Then you're looking around 800 bucks or so for this one. Then if you wanna stand, which I suggest you get one, otherwise this is just gonna lay on the floor, that's another 200 bucks as well. So you're looking about a thousand bucks to have an all-in complete system that goes up to 200 pounds. <sighs> that's just kind of pricey for something that only goes up to 120 pounds in 10 pound increments. And then this one over here, which ranges in price anywhere from $700 all the way up to $1,000 at the retail price for the 100 pound, that one less, but you're still looking at when you're comparing weight to weight, it's still quite a bit of money. It's not as much money as you'd play for a fixed barbell set, but it's still more and allows less versatility than you would get from just a barbell and plates. So to summarize this, for most people, get a barbell and plates. But if you're looking for these specifically and it's why you're watching the video, the one that I'd recommend most is probably the Bowflex. I think the Bowflex, when you factor in everything for most people, 
is probably gonna be the best. I think overall, the, the changing mechanism, everything feels really good. It's just like, it's a really, I feel like this is a really well-built, thought-out system. Now this came out after MX version, so they've had time to basically manipulate it, but I love the fact that it goes heavier, up to 120 pounds. I also like the fit and finish better, like the knurling on the MX series, I like, but I like that this goes in 10 pound increments and it goes evenly. But that said, there is a case to be made for the MX-80 because the MX-80 goes in five pound increments, but it only goes up to 80 pounds, but it does have a more durable, longer lasting system. So honestly, it's kind of hard to select which one I'd recommend for everyone. I like the Bowflex system better, but if you want something that's very durable, don't mind not having the upgradability up to 120 pounds and want to spend less because overall, if you package the entire system, this is 80 pounds. If you add another 200 bucks to that one for the stand, it's going to be a little bit more. They're very similar in cost. This one is very interesting still. So I think either of these are good options if you're looking for an adjustable barbell set. Again, for most people, I just recommend a barbell and plates. I would love to see an option from Newabell to come out with their own version because I think that would be sick. So one thing about these, just like dumbbells or any weight, whatever the weight increment is, you want it to be as close to that as possible. It's one reason like you buy cast iron plates that are really cheap. Oftentimes they're not the stated weight, which can be really annoying. You think you're lifting 80 pounds, but really you're lifting like 75 pounds. That can be annoying. These are manufactured, they're not just cast iron, so they know exactly what the weigh and they're able to get them to the weight they want. So just to show you, um, a little bit disappointing, this is rated at 100 pounds. This isn't fully flat, we've zeroed out the scale, but just wanna show you around what it is. When I set this up here, it's around 93, 92, it's leaning on me, so it may be a little bit heavier than that, but I mean, it's not the stated 100 pounds, or I mean, it's farther off than I think it should be in reality. Um, I think it should be closer to 100. Honestly, the ideal is it for always to be over. Oftentimes it's plus or minus a percent, two percent, something like that. That's what companies will do for weight plates. Uh, that, that's a little underwhelming. And then this one from Bowflex, is a little bit closer to the stated weight. This is 80 pounds and it's showing around 78 or so pounds. So this one is closer to the stated weight than that one, uh, but still none of them are over or exact. Okay, these are your options. What do you think about these two? What do you think about adjustable barbells in general? Do you think they're like just a gimmick and much worse than an adjustable dumbbell? Or do you think they have their place? Let me know in the comments. This is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews and we will see you next time. Peace.